Hi, I'm Jamie. Thank you for joining me on Talking Sonics. Well, I wanted to make a video all about how you can make music videos for free using fantastic stock footage available online. Let's get into the video. So making music videos from free stock footage. I've done it recently with a new song release, Trip of a Lifetime, which is a bit of a holiday Australiana themed song. And I'll explain more about that in a moment. But first, let me talk to you about Pexels.com, which is one of the greatest, I believe, the best that I've found at least, of a stock footage, uh, both visual, video and photography websites for download, for you know, free use basically. Fantastic videographers, photographers, filmmakers are putting their content up for free download on this site. There is 4K footage, there is HD footage, there is landscape orientation, 16.9 or portrait like your phone orientation and square orientation footage you can find. So it's a really great resource. Now for me, I didn't really feel like doing the whole rock star shooting the band and shooting the performance thing. I wanted to get a little bit deeper and ingrained and use stock footage to create a more mysterious, more intriguing, a little bit indie, a little bit cool, a bit of a different feel, a bit of a mysterious but also fun video clip. Um, I did this with uh, searching for various different themes. So um, given the song was about Australian holidaying, a little bit about my emotional past as a kid, some of the memories I had, I was looking for Super 8 footage, um, vintage looking stock footage, also something that was nostalgic. I found some images um, of, of kids playing in, in a video games arcade, like an 80s style arcade, um, which reminded me of my childhood. Um, also, some modern stuff, you know, flying in jets and people at their resorts and just general Australiana. For me, it's a very much an Australian song, Trip of a Lifetime is about holidaying in Australia, the good times, but also there are some kind of glum times on a holiday. Not everything's always perfect. Do you lose a bag? Uh, did you have a bad meal? Did someone get grumpy at you? Somewhere did you have a bad experience while on holiday? I'm sure we've all been there. So we're all human and human relationships come into holidays as well. So there's some footage that I have put together and looked for in the stock library, which also uh, presents some sense of intrigue. So there's a mix of sort of visual palettes for this video. So how to search for stock footage on Pexels.com. Well, if you go to Pexels.com, you will see a search bar. There is a drop down there to select video versus photos. So choose the video download and search for your subject matter. Um, make the search term not broad, make it as specific as possible. For example, if you're searching for footage of a beach holiday, well, you could get anything. You could get guys, girls, bikinis, obvious things. I was searching for Australian beaches and some of those searches came up with some pretty interesting stuff. For example, a brush turkey walking on a far north Queensland beach, which is a great little bit of vision. Now, be specific. Do your search. So Australian beach was my search or Australian beach holiday. Maybe it's nostalgic kids in arcade or kids arcade game, see what you can find. Then you get a list of search results from the Pexels website and you'll also see in the right top corner after seeing the search results a filters button. If you click on the filters there you can select your orientation of the footage which will filter through. For example I'm shooting or editing putting this clip together in a 16.9 regular sort of 4k aspect ratio. So I'm going to choose horizontal aspect ratio, not portrait or not square. It's up to you what you choose, but then it will filter the selection of clips. And then it's simply a case of downloading, hopefully a 4K or highest resolution video. It's worth noting that 
Most of the clips on Pexels.com are quite modern. They're shot with great cameras. I've found some beautifully well-lit footage. And when I say high quality, I mean 2160p or 4K. Um, but be warned, there are some older HD or 1080p uh, pieces of footage. So you need to be careful and inspect. If you're using a Macintosh computer, inspect the, uh, the file in Finder and get the info and just have a look at what the pixel resolution of, of it is. Ideally, uh, try and get the 2160 4K footage and build up a collection of stock footage in the categories and in the subject matters that suit your song. So let's talk about the song. So what stock footage might work well with your song? Now, I want you to get thinking not just about the obvious lyrical content or singular line content. What is the emotion of the song? What is the story behind the song? Really, where is it going? And is there anything that you can think of that builds it into some separate categories? For example, my song Trip of a Lifetime is all about fun holiday, but also memories of holidays. And it's for me, Australia or Australiana, so there's images in there that reflect the Australian lifestyle. So there's a mix of things, there's a mix of nostalgia, there's happy and sad images in there, um, there's fun beach images, there's action and activity, and you know, there's a collection of things that come together to build the theme of the clip. So let's break this down a little bit more and let's think about one golden rule that's really important when we collect footage or put together footage for a music video in particular is action. We want action and movement. We don't want still images. We don't want something that's just flat. We hopefully, you know, particularly the song's got pace, a beat, some energy. We want moving images. Now these could be driving, you know, scenes of what, it, what the viewpoint is of driving in a car. It could be um, people on a jet ski, it could be people running, it could be even camera movements, so to speak, but something moving in the frame is really important. So look for action and search for action. In my case, I didn't want to search for just a video of a beach. I wanted to search for, for example, surfers running to catch a wave, which was an energetic shot I found and quite a long one at the end of the clip, but it actually works well. You really feel like you're in there with the action of the runners and it has some pace and it helps the music move along. So finding some action in the footage is really important to help drive the energy of the clip. So choosing footage that built a sense of intrigue, perhaps some suspense in the action was important for me as well. And some storytelling that might reveal itself later in the clip. For example, earlier in the clip, there's a, we're seeing a boy's back. He's sort of just sitting in the sun, his feet dangling in the swimming pool. But we don't know who he is. We don't know what he looks like. That is uh, one little bit of intrigue. There are other shots in here. For example, a redhead woman sitting in her lounge room, gazing out the window. What is she thinking about? Is she thinking about a lost love? Is she thinking about going somewhere? Is she sort of stuck and broke and can't get out of her little bubble? Is she dreaming of a holiday? I don't know. Um, there's a, a later shot that I found which is quite unusual. An elderly woman sipping a champagne quite gracefully and slowly. But to me it feels like maybe she's retired at the end of her life reflecting or, you know, why is she there? There's this voyeuristic kind of viewpoint on this. Um, that kind of, for me, adds a bit of quirkiness and intrigue to the video. So it's not all about being fun. It's not all about being happy and energetic. Although there's plenty of this sort of footage in the clip, building and finding elements that might put some question marks in there. It, it kind of builds some weight, some body uh, for the clip. So that's certainly a little trick. Searching for nostalgia. Now this is something that for me I love. It's maybe something in my psyche, probably in a lot of people's psyche. I guess melancholy in songwriting is very popular and it sort of pulls at the heartstrings and gets people connecting to their past. So 
visuals that have a sense of nostalgia was something I was searching for. I mentioned the Super 8 footage um, of, of beach and sailing and boats and things like that, um, some car driving in there. But also I found a wonderful um, roller disco girl who was on the ground just sort of gazing around with her, with her uh, roller skates on. That was pretty cool. But earlier in the clip are uh, the preteen kids with their video games now. Some of them are sort of surrounded by these 80s looking TV sets with uh, Tetris and other video games. Uh, there are other scenes with them in an actual arcade, perhaps playing Space Invaders or some of these classic arcade games. So for me, there's this kind of like little bit of a stretch back to the past and a bit of nostalgia and, and for even now, occasionally you might find one of these old machines somewhere when you're traveling. So. You know, when you travel, you find and discover things. I remember finding the arcade games room at the Janolan Caves House Hotel in the small hamlet of Janolan in the Blue Mountains near Sydney, Australia. Wonderful place where there are lots of underground caves to explore, lots of trips to take deep to look at the stellic nights and the stellic tights. Uh, but yeah, that, that was a really strong memory for me, sort of escaping and, and sort of disappearing into this arcade room. I didn't even have money to put coins in the machines, but just to look at the colours, to look at the games and watch the other kids playing in there. At the time, I was, you know, very young, maybe eight years old. Um, the kids in the Trip of a Lifetime video appear to be maybe eight to nine to ten. But yeah, that really brings a sense of nostalgia for me and I think there's all these memories that we have as kids perhaps looking at maybe some sort of gift from a grandparent that might have brought back from Hawaii or some overseas trip I remember these sorts of little trinkets or little sort of souvenirs that a loved one might give you so there's certainly this sense of nostalgia I wanted to put into the trip of a lifetime holiday video and I think I think that adds, again, a little bit more weight and a bit more interest to be quirky. So finding some visuals on nostalgia and maybe some footage that's not really here and now and modern is interesting. It creates a bit of a contrast. So that was another choice. Being about a story of travelling and holidaying in Australia, I wanted to put some classic Australiana into this clip. So, you know, I found little things like a rosella parrot eating and pecking its seed on a balcony. I found uh, some footage of, you know, the point of view of driving in what could only be a Volkswagen combi along a beach road. There's some synchronised swimmers in there, which is a little bit, could be international, but to me feels like a very Australian sport. So some images of um, flying over the beaches, people swimming in the beaches. We love our sand and surf here in Australia, like many places, but Australia, particularly Gold Coast, where I'm living, is really well known for the golden sand. So showing the golden sand is very much an Australiana element. So that was something that I looked for in particular. And I also found another category that was the key thing, which was having fun in the sun. So people dive bombing off the rocks, some bikini bums, some people on BMX bikes, a teen party, just things that were just general action and fun in the sun. Lots of those elements in the clip. That was a, another strong category or one of the main categories to really look at here. So with this collection of footage, I guess it's not only about fun in the sun, but it's about nostalgia, it's about people watching and experiences and there are many elements of pieces of footage. For example, there's a shot I found of just a young, maybe late teen looking at her lover in the eye and it looks like you're sort of spying on a scene. Are they breaking up? Are they deeply in love? Are they telling a secret? There's these little elements in there and I think collectively the clip becomes quite voyeuristic. We're spying on people. Are we a fly on the wall? It's really like people watching. And yeah, there's a sense of going on holiday where you do people watch. You know, you might be standing in line at an airport and that's, you know, a great people watching experience. Speaking of that, uh, one of the shots that I found that I really think is just 
really is the climax to the the, the clip and what traveling can be about the energy for me <laughs> is just watching that wing tip or the wing tiplet just taking off running down the runway and watching the wing climb into the air as we head off jet off onto our holiday so a nice visual there so piecing it all together I've been editing my video in Adobe Premiere Pro, paid software I know, but I'm a subscriber to that, I'm happy with that. But DaVinci Resolve is fantastic free video editing software that you can use. And as the footage I've found from pexels.com is so well color graded, really there's only a simple cut editing process needing, meaning you don't need to color grade, you do not need to do extra post-production work simply import the audio into the project of your song then import all of pixels clips and then start dragging them on the timeline and editing so editing to the beat is another trick it keeps the pace flowing in your video and just keeps the energy happening the movement and it really works well particularly with stock footage now when i'm editing i'm cutting to the beat so this basically means i will run the playhead listen to the music and stop on a beat and create a cut point there one little trick i learned from an australian editor and filmmaker robert gibson was that our brains don't really react to on the beat cuts so efficiently we're a little slow visually our mind takes a little while to catch up to the sound so he told me to basically give two frames or cut the footage two frames before the beat so you might play the playhead stop your song on the beat use your cursor to step back or your arrow bar to step back two frames and then make that the cut point of your footage so it gives your brain a chance to sort of interpret that change of beat almost like we've recognized the beat change visually and then we hear it that's a little bit about how slow we are our minds are perhaps compared to computers where we're humans and, and we're a little, little slower visually so so that's a great little trick but cutting on the beat is a way to create energy and a really good way to make it all fit together. So credit where credit is due. There are many fantastic videographers, photographers, filmmakers that have contributed to my clip. So they're on the screen here now. Have a look at those great people. Look them up on pexels.com. Comment, download, share your praise for these wonderful filmmakers. And I have to say the time is now if you want to make a video for free using such great quality well shot well lit well produced footage grab it now pexels.com is offering this content free and no i'm not a paid they're not a sponsor of mine i'm not paying to say they're great i've just discovered pexels.com the content is fantastic and i don't believe it will be free forever so go get into it now see what you can come up with if you make a great clip please share it with me comment below thank you for joining me on talking sonics and by all means check out the preview now of the new stock footage video trip of a lifetime by yours truly thanks for joining me on talking sonics <laughs>